Forget your ambition. Nigeria is too big for you. Jonathan Vasta tells Amici. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Mr. Chibike Azubike Amechi, Minister of Transportation, has come under fire as a chieftain of the All Progressive Congress APC Niger State. Comrade Jonathan Vasta Vasha has urged him to fix the barrel pot or forget about carrying his campaign to Niger State. While portraying Amechi as a politician in exile who cannot fix a state, let alone a country, Vata told the Saturday Telegraph in Mina that Nigeria is still huge for the former governor of River State to lead. Amechi stated Barrow Port is not viable, but Arabs made Dubai viable. Vata, who was the APC Publicity Secretary in Niger State, remarked, If he cannot fix Barrow Port, what, which is the only infraction, and what will he do differently this time? Is he not a member of President Mohammed Buhari's administration? Which miracle do you think he would like to perform? I'm making you to stop playing around with this Nigerian leadership stuff. We have had enough because it's going to be another Buhari. It should be recalled that Amechi stated this in his intention to run for president in 2023. Run for president. In 2023, during the Thanksgiving arranged by the All Progressive Congress APC in River State. Amechi last week Saturday in Port Tarkot. Vata also urged the Minister of Transportation to quit his job before running for the number one position in the country, adding, I do not know if he has resigned because the number one position in the country is filled. Okay. The thing is, I don't even see Amechi coming out as in Amechi. No, no, there's nothing that is not possible, though. But Amechi being the president of Nigeria, huh, oh my god, I don't think, I don't think so. Anyway, I do not see Amechi as president who we think of the rainy days because he was the governor of who spearheaded with other support against Guleke Bele Jonathan for not sharing the old oil windfall. What occurred Joe will advise the government to keep the surplus for rainy days and the governor won the case and the money was shared. Hmm. You remember my brother, thank God we still have people like you here. Vasta, shut up. <laughs> Your family is known for betraying people. Well, okay. If I make you take over power from Buhari, Nigeria is completely gone as he is not fit to be president of a country. When he was governor of River State, he scattered every ministry, especially the legal office, where he removed the chief judge of a state without replacement until he jumped off and joined the All Progressives. The best candidate for president of Nigeria is P2B, but I know that the authorities who are in power don't have any good plans for the country and would and will install their own cohort. Exactly. Okay. The foolishness of okay. You have said it as it is. Our politicians take us for granted. It informs why any non entity has no credible track record of achievement in service to Nigeria, mounts the podium and wants to be made president and governor. Exactly why I am suggesting that INEC should have a criteria for both wanting to be the president, the governor, House of Reps member, Senate member, and then, you know, all those things. They are, they are meant to have criterias. Like the criteria should be, number one should be, how is the performance while in office? Can they boast and beat their hand in their chest and say you performed above average? Do you perform above av average? That is just it. These people should be measured with that, with, with the way they have. If they have held any public office before, they are supposed to use it as a yardstick. But unfortunately, you see people who performed low below, way low below, below average, coming in to tell that, oh, this and this and this is, you know. To me, it is, it is uncalled for. I mean, somebody who has clearly been given the opportunity to serve Nigeria in one very 
in one very um how do i put it now okay so in my own opinion this man has just come out and say his own opinion about um amichi brasimi amichi he's coming out to give his own opinion saying this is what he feels about him and you know fortunately we're in an era where it is democracy you know there's freedom of speech there is freedom of speech indeed I don't see why Amichi, Amichi as president. I don't. I anyway. I do not say Amichi as president. Who we think of the rainy days? Oh, okay, okay. We've done this one before. Well, um, yes. As I was saying, Nella, before, how well did Amichi perform as the governor of River State? How much? How well did he perform as the minister of transportation? Look, I'm even saying that once you were the former governor or you're the former president or a senator, and you come out to run for either presidency, or you come out to run for for the presidency, or the governorship, or senator, whatever, you should be judged as, you know, from that your position. You were a senator, how well are you doing? You were the governor, how well did you serve your people? Can the people come out and will smile on their face and say, no, this is indeed a leader? Yes. You have said it as it is. Okay, okay. Amechi cannot be the president of Nigeria. If one billion Buhari back him, mark my words, APC will fail woefully. People will take over. Tenemu is making his bulky followers to another party if Buhari features Amechi and ha as the consensus candidate. Then APC will be in trouble. Mm. Okay. Nigeria is too big for every one individual. Thank you. Nigeria is indeed too big. Of course, no single person can solve Nigeria's plethora of problems. Whoever claims to possess the ability to solve the problems of a country all alone is a blasted liar and should be stoned by all reasonable humans. The complexities of problems with villain Nigeria require every hand to be on deck. Every citizen has a role to play for a positive to a role to play a positive role. Therefore, Nigeria is indeed too big for one man or woman to handle, let us destroy the country through corruption, banditry, terrorism, cultism, and armed robbery. Pay 